Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. The topic for this week is the economies of owning and running a printer in your home or small business. If you missed last week's episode on the differences between a laser printer and an inkjet printer, you can catch that episode up here and then come back to this one. The cost of printing varies from printer to printer. Each manufacturer has their own way of going about the making of printers and it affects the cost per page. For example, some inkjet printers include the head in with the cartridge so that they get replaced each time, whereas some are purely just ink tanks. And of course there's the difference between genuine and compatible inks. Some do-it-yourselfers and kit makers have even set up giant ink tanks and piped them into the printer cartridges like this. Laser printer cartridges also vary in the number of rollers and drums included in the actual cartridge itself, which are therefore replaced each time. And there's other consumables that might only be hit if you do more than 100,000 pages out of your printer, like the transfer drum. All of these things affect the overall print cost, depending on how many prints you do every month or year. It is interesting to note though that laser printers tend to have a duty cycle which is the number of pages they're designed to print per month and it's offered in the tens of thousands of pages. On the subject of genuine versus compatible, I tend to use a compatible cartridge whether it be ink or toner in the past. I've searched around and found a good one and stuck with it and I've had basically no problems with them whatsoever. In order to get a decent baseline, I found a website called costperprint.com.au which lists the cost per print for various inkjet and laser printers and multifunction devices, black and white and colour. For the sake of the calculations here, I'm going to run with the following figures. A good inkjet printer will cost you about 20 cents per page. A good colour laser printer will cost you about 20 cents per page. A black and white laser printer will cost you in between 2 and 6 cents per page. It's worth noting if you're looking at the cost for the actual paper, it runs to roughly one cent per page. Of course, that depends wildly on the bulk that you're buying them in. And of course, doesn't include specialty papers. Glossy photo paper like this will often set you back five, ten dollars for a pack of 20. So, a good inkjet and a color laser cost about the same at 20 cents per page. So why would you spend hundreds of dollars more to buy a colour laser printer when you can buy an inkjet for $50? Well, firstly, I said a good inkjet. So we're looking at spending $150 up to maybe $300 for a good inkjet printer. I won't buy or service a cheap inkjet printer. It's just not worth my time. The ink cartridges often contain the printhead, which is great because you get a fresh printhead with every cartridge. But the cartridges then become much more expensive. In fact, a new set will often cost as much or up to twice as much as the printer itself. Now, you will get more ink and therefore more prints because the starter cartridges that come with most of these cheap printers are usually only half full, just to get you started. The economies of scale for the cheap laser printers are often similar. At one stage, Brother was selling a $50 laser printer and you could buy another toner cartridge for about $50 as well, which seemed reasonably good because it had more in it than the starter cartridge. But then after two or three toners, you had to replace the drum, which cost about $200. So the printer usually went in the bin, which is a waste and I hate it. Inkjet printers also have another problem that doesn't happen with lasers, which is that the inks dry out. Not necessarily in the cartridge itself, but in the tubes and paths that run to the printhead. Often an inkjet printer that hasn't been used for a month or two will be all clogged and won't print. And the only way to fix it is either a head clean, which uses vast amounts of expensive ink, or a manual flush and clean, which is, which is time consuming and wasteful. So why then would you buy an inkjet? Honestly, these days, I'm not sure. If you print out a lot of photos and need them printed out on the spot for a function of some sort, I guess that's a pretty good use case. If you're using it to print out the odd happy snap after a holiday once or twice a year, then you're probably better off saving your pennies and going down to the local camera shop or department store and printing them there. You could even upload them and have your prints sent to you and get them made into a nice book or put on a mug or whatever. You're probably much more likely to look at them again that way anyway. So I don't recommend inkjets for home. So what do I recommend? Personally, I think most people could get away with a cheapish, but not really cheap, black and white laser printer for home use. 
great for printing out notes, recipes, receipts, assignments, invoices, most of what you need. Even better, see if you can source a second-hand black and white laser printer that might have come from a local small business that's upgraded to a printer photocopier, or simply come to the end of its lease. I bought several old X-Lease workhorse laser printers several years ago. No, many years ago. They'd been in a law firm in the city and many of them had done over a million pages. I used one myself and put many others in small businesses where they churned out dozens or hundreds or maybe even a thousand or so pages every month for another five, ten years and worked perfectly, printing away happily into their retirement years. What if you need colour? Do you really need colour? If you do, head down to your local office supply store where you can print out colour pages for maybe 60 or 70 cents a page. Your local library, post office or newsagent might be able to offer the same service too. If you are printing more than 100 pages a month, then it might be worth looking at buying your own colour laser printer. But honestly, not many people print anywhere near that amount from a home or small business printer. So, why do I have this colour laser printer? I don't actually print that much out of it at all. But, to be honest, I don't think I paid anything for the printer. It probably came from a business that was closing down or moving offices and didn't want it anymore. I probably invested maybe $100, $150 in toner over its maybe near 10 years that I've had it, and it just sits there and churns out pages. To be honest, it's actually due for a new drum, and if that looks like costing more than a couple of hundred dollars, I may well actually get rid of it, because it just simply isn't worth that investment. And when I say get rid of it, I'll probably try and find a new home for it. So in summary, my best recommendation is to find a good refurbished black and white laser printer for your home printing needs. Something like this beastie here. It's designed to print 5, 10,000 pages a month and will happily sit on your desk or on the floor at home churning out a few dozen pages here and there and work happily for years and years. You may never even need to replace the toner cartridge. So dear viewer, what do you think? What do you own and use? Leave me a comment down below and we can have a conversation about it. Maybe you've got different ideas to me. I'm happy to listen to that. I don't know everything. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. There's some episodes you may not have seen before here and here, and you can click the subscribe button down here to be notified when all new episodes come out. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.